Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Ayotunde Balogu. And on the program today... Cold clash leaves one dead in Obiapo local government area of River State. Operation Harbin Kunama reaches Falgori Forest in the northwest as army continues to flush out criminals. And officers and men of 13 Brigade get decent accommodation following infrastructure turnaround in Akim Barracks, Calabar. Let's begin from the National Assembly, where the lawmakers in the House of Representatives are asking for the immediate review of the national minimum wage for Nigerian workers to reflect the current economic realities. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Yakubu Togara, while speaking on the motion, called for the payment of what he considers a living wage to Nigerian workers. The motion was debated by the lawmakers and passed without opposition. To the courts. Now, a magistrate court sitting in Dutse, the Jigawa state capital, has remanded a former governor of the state, Sule Lamido, in prison custody. According to Chief Magistrate Usman Lamin, Mr. Lamido will remain in Kiawa prison in Dutse until May the 4th, pending the court's decision on the applications for his bail. The former governor was arraigned before the court earlier on a four count charge bordering on inciting comments. Now, Mr. Lamido was arrested by the police and then whisked away from his Sharada residence in Kano on Sunday for allegedly inciting his supporters to violence during the forthcoming council poll in Jigawa State on July the 1st. It was gathered, however, that despite the presence of well-armed security personnel, the supporters of the former governor Lamido took to the streets in protest against the court ruling. Mr. Lamido, who was Nigeria's foreign affairs minister between 1999 and 2003 was put on trial by the EFCC alongside his sons for allegedly embezzling state funds while he was governor. Meanwhile, the Federal High Court sitting in Lagos has adjourned to May the 31st this year. The hearing of a motion seeking to terminate the corruption charge against a senior advocate of Nigeria and a former minister of national planning. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission arraigned Mr. Dili Belgori alongside Professor Abubakar Suleiman for alleged money laundering. Both men are accused of conspiring to take possession of the sum of 450 million naira, which the EFCC claims forms part of the proceeds of an unlawful act. The Defence Council filed the application seeking to terminate the proceedings on the grounds that the prosecution did not file an affidavit to show it hadn't completed investigation on the matter. But then the prosecution argued that if an application brought after a plea has been taken as to the validity, validity of a charge, it can be considered alongside the substantive matter. After listening to both counsels, Justice Rilwan Aikawa agreed that the motion could be heard alongside the substantive matter and then adjourned the matter till May the 31st. Residents of Uzoba community in Ubiakbo local government area of River State say they are still in shock over the killing of a man, allegedly by a cult group in their town. According to them, the violence, which left some residents injured and houses burnt, was a reprisal by a group which claimed that it was avenging the killing of one of its members. Those who spoke to Channel's television lamented the destruction of their property by the group. In the meantime, the River State police spokesman Nam Diomoni told Channel's television on phone that security operatives are now on the trail of the hoodlums. This morning, we just, I just come at him. A, a parent, yes, ask my wife. Say, madam, we sit here. No, come at him. We see everybody lock their door. I said, what happened? They said, they kill somebody. Cut people, kill them. Go no cut people. Yeah. They say make everybody begin come out. Some people were wrong, just begin they come back. So we say okay, maybe the matter is not a as well as they kill somebody, maybe not themselves. But when I go work with my wife, as we did up, we come out quick. Before I just my wife is the one that called me on phone on my work now. That they have burned out the whole house. My property, everything. Go. 
I believe that they are sincere in what they say, but surprisingly, since after the amnesty, um, we have been witnessing series of court activity. So I use this opportunity to call on the youth of Abo to shun courtesy because it's of no benefit to them. For some time now, residents living around the Felgore forest area in Kano State, northwest Nigeria, have been living in fear owing to attacks by bandits, kidnappers, and even cattle rustlers. But thanks to the intervention of the Nigerian army through its operation Habin Kunama, or Scorpion Sting, there may soon be an end to this menace. Now, the army has commenced the operation with a medical outreach to familiarize itself with the community. It's not every day that the military is called upon to protect both state and citizens from threats. There are other responsibilities which require a softer approach. And that is what is happening here in Falgore Indaji, Kano State. This medical outreach program is part of the Army's familiarization with the community, where another mission awaits. But the residents do not mind. Most of these people may have been battling ailments for some time without access to Medicare. From eye to blood pressure checks, the entire community has trooped out with the hope of getting better. It's part of Nigerian Army policy that wherever we are doing some operations, we touch the lives of the people that are there. As this goes on, the Army is mapping out strategies on how to flush out bandits, kidnappers and cattle rustlers terrorizing the area. The planned operation is codenamed Habing Kunama, which means a scorpion sting. The target spot is the Falgore Forest, which lies within three local government areas. It also borders Bauchi and Kaduna states. Most of the bandits are believed to have migrated from Sokoto, Kebi and Zamfara states, while others are from neighboring Niger and Chad. The forest, which covers an area of about 1,000 kilometers, is not an easy place to venture into. But with the success of the Sambisa forest takeover still fresh, there is optimism that this operation will be a success. We are working with other security agencies, particularly the Nigerian police and the Department of State Security, to get these people out. And we are going in for a full-fledged operation this time around. Uh, we comb the forest as much as possible. Residents are pleased with the development because there was a time when they lived in fear. A few months ago, anyone living in Falgore and Daji, Panyabo town and many other villages were in danger. In fact, I even lost my brother on his way back to Kaduna after visiting us. But I must tell you that with the intervention of the army, we are now enjoying relative peace. We have been having problems of kidnapping, cattle rustling, and armed robbery. But the security operatives, with the support of our vigilante groups, have recorded tremendous success in the fight against these criminal elements. As the plan to storm the forest progresses, the message from the army to those who are determined to cause havoc is this. Stop before we stop you. When the program returns, officers and men of 13th Brigade get decent accommodation in Akim Barak's Calabar. Details after this.